Every SOLIDWORKS user has had it happen. You're minding your business, modeling away, when suddenly and without warning. Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, here with another SOLIDWORKS Tech Tip. For those of you looking for the quickest tip you'll ever receive, simply switch back over to SOLIDWORKS and press the F6 key to get rid of this pesky icon. You can thank me later. For those of you who'd like to stick around and figure out what this thing is, how it got here, and how to prevent it from happening again, let's get started. So first, what does this icon mean? This icon indicates that a selection filter is currently active. If you've seen this icon before, you probably noticed that your selections in the graphics area became restricted, likely preventing you from selecting anything other than faces or perhaps vertices. This is actually the intent of these filters, however, which can be exceptionally useful in certain situations, like to allow only edge selections when adding a complex fillet feature, or to select only solid bodies when running a combined command, for example. If you'd like to browse the available selection filters for future reference, turn on the selection filter toolbar by clicking View, Toolbars, Selection Filter, or by simply pressing F5 on the keyboard. In this toolbar, you'll find a filter for nearly every SOLIDWORKS entity to assist you in making precise graphical selections. You can also enable more than one filter at a time. So if you'd like to restrict selections to edges and vertices, for example, simply turn both selection filters on by clicking the appropriate icon. They will remain active until you turn them back off. So how do you get rid of selection filters? Well, in case you missed it in the beginning of the video, you can simply press F6 on the keyboard to clear any active selection filters without ever opening up the toolbar mentioned previously. If you'd prefer, however, you can also use the second icon in the selection filters toolbar to clear any active filters. If you have multiple selection filters active and you don't want to clear all of them at once, you can alternatively click individual filters to toggle them on and off, or you can use the first button in the toolbar to toggle them on and off as a set. So how did this even happen? At this point you might be thinking you've never seen this toolbar in your entire life, and the truth is selection filters are usually enabled accidentally through their default hotkeys, which are in an uncomfortably close proximity to keys we use very regularly like Control, Alt, and Shift. So by default, Filter Faces is bound to the X key, while Filter Vertices is bound to the V key. These keys are extremely easy to bump accidentally, but fortunately they're very easy to disable. To disable these hotkeys, navigate to Tools, Customize, and access the Keyboard tab. To make things easier, I recommend typing Filter into the search box available here to narrow down the available commands. Once you've located filter faces and filter vertices, click on the commands and use the remove shortcut button to disable it. No more frustration. Now remember, selection filters do have their use cases and you may consider trying one of them out next time you're having difficulty making selections, but until then, enjoy a refreshing, unfiltered modeling experience. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com and be sure to check out our hundreds of other SOLIDWORKS videos for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.